Hey everyone, thank you for joining me. So today I have a pretty interesting unboxing for you guys. Now I ordered some scales for my Yojimbo 2. Now I have the Flytanium Titanium scales at the moment, which I anodized purple. But the ones that I got are from Fireside Company. And these are the lemon or yellow style Yojimbo 2 scales. And I realized I wasn't recording when I opened the package, so... That's why it's open right now, but I am recording right now, so let's get these right out of the package. And they are looking really good so far. Again, I am a fan of yellow, one of my favorite colors, so I do have a plan on customizing the knife to fit these scales a little bit more, in a sense of making them pop. But we do have the order slip here, and I don't think there's anything else in the package. Unfortunately, no sticker, but I'll survive. And here is just some maintenance stuff and uh, a thank you for purchasing the item, which is, I think it's a great little touch to the ordering. And that's pretty much it. If you guys want to pause the video and read some of that, you guys can. But let's get back to the scales here. Now, before I get into the package, I'm just going to get the knife situated over here and get my tools ready since we will be installing the scales here after I open the package. But I want to get a feel for them because I can already see the, the pretty rough texture on them. Now these are made out of Tarot Tough material, which from what I understand, it's, it's a tough material, it's lightweight, but you do get quite a bit of texture. And it's just a little bit more aggressive than your typical micarta. So it's nicely milled on the inside. We do have a, a leather lanyard or a strap, if you will, that is provided. So I think that's a nice little touch as well. Not really a fan of lanyards, but I am happy that it was included. So we'll just put this off to the side. So let's get back to the scales here. And really quick, just wanted to point out that these are made in the USA. Which I think is really awesome and I'll leave a link down below where you guys can check out Fireside Company. Just really really great stuff so far and I believe they make other scales for other Spyderco models so just want to let you guys know about that as well. So let's take this little this little uh, Fireside Co tag off. I will use my CRKT tuna that I customized a while back at Greg's place at the G-Carta headquarters. Really, really awesome knife. Now these are a lot lighter than the Flytanium Titanium Scales, which is expected. And I can already feel the texture on these. So it's definitely a, a lot more aggressive than Micarta. But you can see right there, you can see the pattern of what's going on with the Tarot Tough. Again, I'm gonna have to look more into that material. I might have to uh, try my, my take on it. But here's a close up of it. And the edges are nicely chamfered, which is really, really nice. And again, just a fan of that yellow. There's a little bit more yellow up in the corner on this scale. I think it's just from the oil from my fingers. But that's cool to know that they will get more yellow. So we're going to put the scales onto the Ojimbo too. But really quick, before I get started with that, I want to give you guys a little tip. I like to start with one side, typically the pocket clip side. So I'll remove the pocket clip first since it holds the scales on to the liners, but one at a time, and I think that's the best way to go. So let's get to it. All right, so these scales are installed and it looks really good. Everything fit up very well. So the fit up is nice. I didn't fight anything, all the screws, all the holes lined up perfectly. It's definitely a lot lighter. It's one thing I've noticed, which is it's still light with those flytanium titanium scales, but this is very, very light. Uh, it's not perfectly centered, but nothing a little metal complex centering trick can't handle. So I will definitely mess with that later. 
as you can see right there it's off just a tad nothing crazy but the action is really good there is that little bounce when you use the compression lock and I'm gonna check if there's a little bit of blade play which there is there's not too much but I can fix that as well just happy that it functions beautifully so again just really pleased with it and I want to give you guys a close-up of this material or of the scales you can see that cool texture in there and like I said everything fit it beautifully even the pocket clip holes which are usually something you fight with even when I create my own custom scales but really pleased with it again the oil from my fingers is making it more yellow which I'm excited for definitely going to be pocketing this thing for a while and then I will get back to you guys on how it handles so I'm going to get a little bit into depth of what I will be customizing on this knife so for starters I will be starting with the the blade I'll be etching and stone washing it and doing some slight modifications to it but when that video comes I'll break it down I will be creating a custom fat carbon pocket clip uh, a custom black backspacer which I think is going to go really well with this yellow uh, and keep in mind I'm going to try to make everything as dark as I can again the etched and stone washed blade with slight modifications the black backspacer and then the custom fat carbon black pocket clip which will make it more of a black and yellow theme and again I think it'll really really make these these tarot tough uh, lemon scales really pop and as always you guys thank you for the support I really truly appreciate it again I'll leave the information down below where you guys can pick some of these up but as always I will see you guys on the next one